I'm Christine Cushing, and thanks for joining me on another helping of my favorite foods. Let's get right into it. What is it about ratatouille that we love so much? Well, for me, besides being the best and the most favorite animated movie ever, ratatouille, you gotta see it if you haven't, the flavors are so incredible. So really, it's this combination that transports me immediately to the beautiful, sunny south of France. What's not to love? Now for my herb blend, I'm going in with parsley, which is a must, that's sort of the base. Then I'm gonna add just some beautiful tarragon, which is that classic French Southern flavor. Fresh thyme for depth, and you have to, I mean you have to have oregano. Now essentially what I'm doing here is I'm making my own version of an herb de Provence, herbs of Provence, in a fresh version. But whatever fresh herbs you have, please go ahead and use them. The mandolin is key here to get that super, super thin slicing, but read what it says here. Yes, you wanna be super, super careful. Always put the guard on and keep your fingers extended. But look at these super thin slices. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. If you don't have Japanese eggplant, which by the way are not classical, I would go with the little baby Italian ones. So nothing massive giant that's full of seeds. Small eggplant, whatever you have in your neck of the woods. Here's an unorthodox technique. I'm slicing the eggplant ultra thin, another word for super. Look at them. <laughs> and then now I'm actually gonna soak them in water. This is so interesting because the eggplant absorbs the water instead of getting oily when they mix with all the other ingredients. And then I salt it. That's going to draw out any little bitterness, which this eggplant doesn't have, but you know, Italian ones might, and also season it. Now this technique that I'm showing you here is pretty cool because it does something interesting. It allows the vegetable to keep their individual texture rather than becoming stewy and they all kind of blend together. But at the same time, it does make some of them soft. For example, aubergine, eggplant. They are soft and silky because I slice them super thinly. I don't like chewy eggplant. They've got to be fully cooked. The zooks, on the other hand, or courgette as they call them in France, I cut those thicker so that you get a little bit of that texture. But if you like them to be softer, you can cut these also thinly. come in a little close, let's talk olive oil. For a dish like this, where it's vegetables, pretty much some herbs and olive oil, the olive oil you use has to be fantastic. If you use a very inexpensive, just mass-produced olive oil, it's just gonna kill all your other flavors. So be sure for a dish like ratatouille, you wanna pull out a pretty good extra virgin olive oil. Perhaps Greek, just saying.
So for the first half hour, I like to keep the lid on to get that moisture in there, but then half an hour later, I pull the lid off to give me that circulation of heat, convection going, and getting that caramelization of those vegetables. And it might vary depending on your oven, depending on the size of your pan, so many factors. Just to give this another little edge, sometimes I like to add either some French goat cheese, a little soft and creamy, or something even aged, perhaps even a little bit of feta to give it that little tang and a bit more depth. Try it. Tasting time. Who's excited? The aromas already are wafting up. So those herbs, remember I talked about it? And all of that, the aubergine, which is nice and tender, and the onions underneath getting really nice and soft and delicate. Oh, this would be great with a little roast chicken, some grilled fish, My mouth is doing the happy dance. So many great flavors. And that olive oil just really ties it all together. Man, is that good. Let's do another taste. Mm. Thanks for joining me on another helping of my favorite foods. Share, like, subscribe. Let me know what's happening in your kitchen. See you next time. Ooh la la.